What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today what I want to talk about is one of the updates that was mentioned along with all of the upcoming spring updates that some of you guys might have overlooked. I did mention it in my spring update video where I talked about all the things that Rockstar is going to be adding, but I didn't spend as much time on it as I would like to. And what is that update? Well, that is the addition of the non-contact races for Grand Theft Auto Online. So maybe you didn't hear about this update yet, and maybe you didn't watch my video all the way through where I explain what they are because I kind of mentioned it at the end of the video, but non-contact races are pretty much what they sound. They are races in which you will not be able to come in contact with any of the other racers. So how's that gonna work? Well, as I said before, your car is going to be semi-transparent, and so are all other players. So that means when you would otherwise knock into a player and spin them out, this way you're just gonna drive through each other. I guess so in theory you could have 16 racers stacked on top of one another, since you'll all be semi-transparent and you won't be able to wipe each other out. So you'll all pretty much just, you know, be inside of each other. In my opinion, this is a fantastic update that I honestly did not think we we would be getting. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I, I do not like races anymore because honestly, they feel more like a demolition derby than they do an actual race. You know, you try to go around somebody respectfully after drafting behind them. As soon as you try to go around them, they just ram you into the guardrail and you spin out of control. And just like that, you drop from second place to, you know, eighth, 10th, 12th, maybe even last place, depending on how badly it goes. But don't get me wrong. I don't mind a little bit of contact when it comes to races. You know, a little bit of bumping and knocking here and there is okay. If somebody accidentally sideswipes me as they go by and I happen to spin out, that's okay, because in the end, it is a race, and it's realistic, and that's gonna happen every now and then. But, see, that's where the problem comes in. These things aren't accidental. There are certain players in races, and I, I, not even certain players, the majority of players go out of their way to just spin you out of control and ruin the race for you. And maybe I can't relate to that because I don't do that to other people, and I think the reason that I don't is because that is not a true display of skill. You know, I race to see who's the best. I like the competitive aspect of it, and when you earn first place, it's rewarding. And if you get last, then you know, hey, you know, I'm not a very good racer. So you try to improve your driving skills and things like that, but it does not take any ounce of skill to, you know, bump somebody's back end as they're passing you so that they spin out of control. And you know what? The majority of the time, the person pulling the pit maneuver goes out of control with the person that they're doing the pit maneuver on. So then you just have two people spinning out of control, and then all of the racers behind them collide with them, and it's just a big pile up in the middle of the street. And it, like I said, if this happened every now and then, it would be okay, but this is almost every single race that I'm in. I would say easily 8 out of 10 races, there are just assholes out to ruin people's day, and as a result, they ruin the race for everybody, except for the person who's way ahead of the pack who wasn't involved in the accident, and then that leads us to the next problem. You know, too many times there are pileups in the middle of the street due to the guy in second or third pulling a pit maneuver on somebody, and then all of the cars behind them also get in the pileup, and then the guy in first is just untouchable because he wasn't involved with it, so now nobody's gonna catch him for the rest of the race. So, I'm just really ranting about why I don't like Grand Theft Auto races that much. It's more so because of the players, and this is really just why I can't wait for the non-contact race update. And I know some of you guys are hearing this and you're saying, well, you know what, if that's how you want to race, then go play NASCAR where they race clean. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna play NASCAR. I don't want to play NASCAR. I want to race in Grand Theft Auto 5, and I want to have some good, clean, fun races. So, I'm really curious about how you guys feel about this one. How do you feel about non-contact races? Because I know there are some of you watching this video who probably love the Grand Theft Auto races, and you love everything about them. You know, you're one of those people who spins people out, you knock into people, you try to run them into guardrails and off the road, and you know what? I'm not gonna hold that against you. You know, at the end of the day, it is Grand Theft Auto, and it is a dirty game full of crime and violence and things like that, so, you know, I'm not gonna hold it against you if you are one of the people who race like that, but what about the rest of you guys? I know that there are also a lot of people like myself who can't wait for this and uh, are gonna be racing a lot more once you don't have to worry about trolls ruining your races and things like that, because from this update alone, in my opinion, any race with jumps is going to be more fun, because I can't tell you how many times I don't make a jump or I don't go far enough or, you know, I land too soon or something like that because somebody knocks into me and slows me down or spins me out of control. Now, with races with jumps and things like that, you don't have to worry about that. Your driving is purely on you. You're not responsible for what other people do to you. So with that, guys, please tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to get a good idea of how the community actually feels about this, because I haven't really asked any of my friends yet, and I don't know if I'm alone on this. Maybe uh, you guys are going to say, oh, you're a baby. Play, play the game how it's meant to be played, or, you know, something like that. So, as always, tell me your opinions in the comments below, and if you like this video, then show that like button some love, and if you dislike it, then hey, show the dislike button some love as well, but make sure you tell me why you did in the comments below. With that, guys, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.